Hello, good evening. Uh, for you, those of you out there who are as old as me, you may remember the opening to a uh, classic children's TV program, and it's Friday, and it's five to five, and it's Cracker Jack. Well, here we are, it's Thursday, and it's seven o'clock, and we're in Hammond's Four Showroom. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Paul Marjoram, I'm the dealer principal here, and I have to say, this is our first ever Facebook Live vehicle launch event. So if it, anything does go wrong, please bear with us because we like to think we're very human. This is John Barker, he's our sales manager. John? And between us, we've been here over 65 years. Um, I know we don't look old enough for that, do we, Paul? Uh, I was extremely young when I came. And I was even younger. And, <laughs> and, and, not, not one of us had a bit of grey hair, but um, there you go, that's, that's life, I guess. Tonight is, like Paul said, it's, it's completely new for us. We're used to inviting people down, put on some sausage rolls, a glass of wine, cheese straws, people around us. So for us, as the slightly older generation, I guess, tonight is about a new generation, new generation of showing our product off. It's a brainchild, this man here, Chris Alvin, one of our sales team. And in a few minutes, we're gonna hand over to these guys, Chris, to Ian, to Tom, and they're gonna do the main bulk of tonight's um, show to you, we're going to the show, because we hope we've got on a show for you. Um, we're really proud of this new product, we'll tell you a little bit more about it as we go. Chris is going to take you through style and technology, Ian has got a big job talking about the interior, and then Tom's going to talk about luggage, and when you talk about a car this size, you're never going to believe how much luggage this car will take. Uh, and, and to be fair, uh, between us, as we've said, 65 years, we've seen lots of vehicle launches, uh, and in fact, John and I both remember the launch of the original Puma, and I have to say, what a great car it was. In fact, I still own one. I, I bought one as a stopgap car, but uh, long story, um, and I still own it, because it's such a great car, but I still own it. But I have to say, this one's even better, but you'll find out about that as we go through tonight. I can't actually say I own an actual car, but I've got a die-cast model that Paul gave me many, many years ago. Um, so. Let me tell you a little bit more about this product. We've already been announced as <coughs> what car of the year 2020. That's one amazing accolade. And we're proud to represent Ford we're, as a dealership, as Hammonds. We've represented Ford since 1974. And the product, wow, it's just got better and better and better. The guys are going to talk to you about the model that just sits where Paul is just there. Um, which is the Ford Puma ST Line X first edition. Two engine sizes in that. I'm not going to steal too much of Chris's and Ian's thunder when they talk about it later on. Um, but if you start looking at here for the first editions, which are available for the next three months, an amazing specification. I mean, you, you've got things like 18 inch um, alloy wheels, project, projector headlamps with LED daytime running lights. Uh, I could go through it all, but I know the guys are going to touch on this in a minute. We start with a titanium first edition. On the road from 22,295, 22,295 for a car of the year, quite an amazing price as well. And we also then have the Ford Puma ST Line X Plus first edition, which has got an amazing specification. In fact, as of next week, our demonstrator will be on the road. So please, as we go through this, you, you'll have the opportunity to come and see what that model's like and to actually drive it. Paul. Oh. Okay, John, it is a great summary there for us. Uh, as we said, a great car. I think best thing we can do, I'm sure that the people want to see the car, so let's hand over to Chris, uh, and Chris will start taking you through the car. Hi guys. Thanks, Chris. How are you? Hi guys, right, so if you remember the original Puma, uh, the car's changed quite a bit. Uh, the original was a three-door uh, hatchback, this one's now a five-door uh, crossover. So you've got the appeal of the SUV, but you've got the styling of a, of a coupe. The front headlights, very, very familiar to the original Puma, albeit now with a much more modern twist because they've now got LED technology. Front bumper on these, uh, various between models, as we've said, uh, the titanium is a little bit softer um, and has uh, a chrome surround, both with a black grille. ST line, actually more aggressively styled with these louvers, uh, gloss uh, grills there. If we look at the side profile of the vehicle, you'll see that we've got a fast A-pillar here, sweeping A-pillar, sculptured side panels, nice low skirts, or the, the colour-coded skirts, 
and then the sweeping rear lines here, very sleek with an enlarged rear spoiler. The length of the car and the dimension of the car give that real sporty appeal from the side. All the models come with nice big alloy wheels. This particular model has got an 18 inch wheel. Uh, there is the 17 inch wheel standard titanium, but you can have up to a 19 inch wheel. Um, one of the things that we uh, say about the bigger wheels is sometimes you may feel that your ride quality is compromised by a bigger wheel, um, but even on the 19 inch wheel, you get a 40 profile tyre, so you get a nice tyre, um, so you do um, don't worry about that, that impact on the ride. Now, it looks quite a big car, albeit it's based on a, on a Fiesta platform. Um, so with that, you've got uh, the manoeuvrability, drivability of a Fiesta. They've managed to extend the wheelbase by 10 centimetres, uh, which is why you've got a wheel in each corner, which really helps with the manoeuvrability. And also, because of the increased height on the car, They've made the track or the wheelbase of the car uh, seven centimetres wider so you don't get the roll. Chris, you mentioned about the wheels earlier on, an 18 inch alloy. Does yes. that give it a hard ride? Or? No, no, so it's because of the profile of the tyre that will, that will cushion for you. You know, we used to talk about on an 18 inch wheel, you'd even have you know, as much as 25 30 profile tyre, which is almost a rubber band, but no. I mean, this one, this is a, this is a you know, got a good, good profile tyre, so you will, Excellent. you will be okay with that. Um, just quickly show you the back of the vehicle. Um, I say you've got the large rear spoiler. You've also, I don't know if you really pick it up, but these rear lights have uh, got a lovely cutout in them, which helps with the, the airflow and the aerodynamics of the car. Um, and you've got this lovely rear diffuser, and they've actually uh, stylized the rear tailpipe to fit in with the, with the contour there. Um, and so on the ST line, a bit more aggressively styled with a lower skirt there. Now, we've got privacy glass on this model. Um, which you get with the with the first edition. Uh, and if I just take you back round to the front, there's a couple of other bits I'd like to just talk to you about, one of which is quite a big thing for Ford, which is under the hood. Uh, we've now got Mars Hybrid, uh, so it's an Eco Boost Hybrid. So under here we've got a one litre petrol engine with the assistance of a motor, a 48 volt. Basically, the way that works is it's uh, self-maintained, you don't do anything, you drive the car as normal, but when you accelerate, you will get assistance from that motor. So that's basically free energy, so it helps with the fuel economy. Because up just on the wall here, we've got a couple of bits. Fuel economy from 52.3, so that's an average uh, fuel consumption in real world terms. Uh, and low emissions, as low as 96 grams per kilometre. And that's helped to say by that, that EcoBoost hybrid technology. And the way it works is, as you accelerate, the uh, energy that you generate through braking, through the car or coasting, is stored in a battery. And if you accelerate that, motor turns with the engine to give you torque assistance. Um, and if you've ever sat at the track or if you've ever had to push a car, you'll know that to get something moving is the hardest part. That takes the most energy. So if you've got free energy, which you've, you've created to do that, it's only you do one thing and, and help your fuel economy. Um, if anyone's got any questions on that, we'll perhaps answer a bit later on. Um, but what I'll do now is, if I can grab my colleague Ian. Credits here. If, if, I'm Sorry. A, if, if I may just jump in for a moment. Uh, people watching may get the, the image uh, of a dog wandering around here. Ah. <laughs> there he is. Winston is with us tonight. And, and all will become apparent a little bit later in the evening. You'll find out why Winston is here. Uh, and the other thing, the mild hybrid that Chris was just mentioning. I think the key thing to the mild hybrid is to come and take it for a test drive. Yep. Try it yourself. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely needs to be driven to fully appreciate the benefits of it. It's a, it's a great car. And there is one other thing I just wanted to do quickly, sorry, before I hand it to you. Um, we just talked about the, the sleek look of the car. Um, with, you know, you, you get the worry that there isn't actually going to be a lot of room in the car. Now, they've designed the car very well. If I can borrow two bodies very quickly. If I just quickly, Paul or John, if you can yep, yep. just quickly to show the guys um, that we've got the seat and set up in the front for, for front uh, passengers and driver. If you guys can just hop in and just show us, you've got plenty of headroom and, and adequate room in the back there. Yeah, uh, there's ample leg room for us. Yeah, actually. Yeah, and we, got, we, set well. the, we set the seats up where we drive and happily pass them, and I can jump. Sorry, Miss, if I jump in the front there, just to prove we've wedged that into the dashboard. Because I'm six foot two and I've got acres of room, I can jump forwards. Yeah. more, so plenty of room. All right, really good. Thanks. Cheers, uh, glamorous assistance. Thank you. And it's now over to 
Mr. McCray, to take you through the inside and some of the technology. Yep, thank you, Chris. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try and multitask and actually try and take the camera uh, as well as talk to the uh, talk whilst I'm doing it. So it, it may work. Uh, we'll uh, see how we get on. First of all, we're going to really just going to go inside to the vehicle and actually go through uh, some of the new features of the new Puma. Uh, first thing that we can actually see uh, is the actual new 12.3-inch uh, screen uh, that Ford have developed. Uh, it's been inspired by the use in the Mustang as well as the uh, new GT. It's a full uh, HD screen, uh, fully customizable. Just pop the ignition on and we can actually just see uh, how clear this actual screen is. So as we can see, uh, you've got your digital speeder on the left-hand side. Um, we've obviously got the hybrid gauge, and we can actually start to see where uh, some of this power is being uh, regenerated through the uh, braking, uh, as well as actually when we're using the uh, additional power under acceleration. I've got a button just down here, uh, just down by the uh, gear lever, which is uh, a button that we can use to customise the actual driving settings, uh, and we'll go through different functions um, which I can just if this camera stays still again user error probably so moving ourselves through we go through to eco mode along with sports mode into slippery mode and then into trail mode finally back into normal even though that the uh, new Puma is only a two-wheel drive the additional modes do give you a extra stability changes the throttle response uh, to make that drive just that a little bit easier New features that have been introduced as well, things like lane keeping aid, uh, as well as traffic sign recognition uh, on some of the models uh, throughout. Um, we also have uh, cruise control. Uh, being that we've got the first editions, we've actually gone with the adaptive cruise control, which is operated just with this button on the left-hand side. Using the, uh, the buttons on the right-hand side, what we can actually then do is go through the different configurable screens from audio through to navigation, got the usual Bluetooth functionality, uh, and then we can go into display settings. We'll just okay that, uh, and then we can then customize uh, how you prefer to use it. Uh, again, when we go into settings, we have the driver assistance functions. Again, with these first editions, they are incredibly well specced. So we have things like blind spot monitoring, uh, which is a little indicator just in the uh, wing mirror. It gives you a little bit of an indication that someone is in your blind spot. Uh, we have cross traffic alert, and then we go adaptive cruise control. We also have pre-collision assist. All these safety features uh, give the uh, new Puma a nice five-star NCAT rating. What we'll do is we'll just pop ourselves across here uh, to the uh, latest uh, SYNC 3 system. This is the new 3.2 version, which has got an updated interface. Uh, still got the usual touchscreen displays. where We've got satellite navigation, again, 8-inch screen. Moving ourselves back into the home button, we have the, uh, the radio controls, uh, along with FM, DAB radio, and then back to the home button here. And we can add the phone. So you've got your Bluetooth capability along with um, Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto as well. Uh, as standard uh, on Ford Puma, uh, Ford have introduced the wireless charging pad, which is just positioned just down here. Uh, again, stored in a nice location. So it's got a wireless charging pad if you've got an up-to-date smartphone. Um, again, Ford Puma have got the embedded modem so we can download um, things like Ford Pass which will give you the uh, unlock and lock facility done remotely. Again, just moving through here, uh, on the first editions, all the models have climate control, which is a, uh, again, heated front windscreen, and it's all programmable just, in, just inside here. Being that this is an ST Line X version, we do have the half leather seating. The Tanium model comes with the cloth seats, but it does come with a first of lumbar, um, sorry, massage support seats. And again, usual functionality that we have inside, uh, along with the uh, automatic headlights, automatic high beam, and then we've got the electric windows all the way around here. I hope you enjoyed watching some of the interior features. What I'm going to do now is going to hand you over to Tom, uh, and Tom will actually go through some of the uh, low space uh, that the uh, Puma has, and I'm pretty sure you'll be surprised on how much uh, space the car actually has. Right, I'm now going to hand over to Tom again, and he'll uh, take you through the necessary bits of the inside. Okay, thanks Ian, thanks Chris. Um, the guys have just presented to you what I'm sure you'll all agree is a stunning vehicle. 
glamorous, seductive, stylish, everything you'd want a modern car to be. We've talked about the technologies, it's economical, it's frugal, it's high tech, is it practical? So this is my job, and let me show you. First of all, we've got the automatic tail release. So electrically, motion sensing, power tailgate. You look in there, and the first thing you notice is it's a boot. But this is no ordinary boot. This is class leading in stowage capacity. We have 456 litres of uncompromised stowage space. We have capacity here with the new Ford patented floating parcel shelf. It's not fixed. Ford have lost the, the, the brackets, the side supports. So now we have one metre's width of practical load, loading area. I'm going to demonstrate to you how practical this is and how much we can get in it. I'm going to need a glamorous assistant. So uh, I'm sure Chris would be very happy to be a glamorous oh, assistant for you. That's glamorous, yeah, absolutely. So Chris, can I have the luggage? I'm a family man. So this, this reflects my typical weekend. So three children with luggage. There we go. There's the wife's luggage. There's the children's luggage. There's more of the children's luggage. And the little one's luggage. So we now have already four good sized suitcases in the box. Um, the handbags. So we have one of the kids' packed lunch boxes. We have oh, another packed lunch box. And we then have a third packed lunch box. So, um, and it's now just um, the good lady's handbag. So there we go. We have now literally loaded the boot practically, fully, and we're in a position now where our floating parcel shelf just slides along the top of the luggage and everything is safely contained. The key fact with that is, most models in this class, you have to adjust the rear seats to get that amount of luggage space. With this, you're not compromising head and leg room for any of your passengers. You are happily getting a full load in there. So. Again, with these first editions on the ST Line X, we've got the, literally, electric tailgate. The parcel shell, if for any reason you load to capacity, it just pops out. It doesn't break off, it just pops out and it floats on top of your luggage. So, as you can see, very, very practical, very versatile. We've got to our destination, we're going to unload, so glamorous assistant. Oh, sorry, I was there climbing the door. Petting the door. A bit wrong, but there we go. Handbags. Luggage. Pack lunch boxes. How many is that so far? I'm looking down. We've got five. five. We've got five. five items out so far. And how many do we put in, Tom? Oh, Eight. Yeah, there we go. So, we've now unloaded the car, but there is a big but. We forgot the swimming gear. Oh no. So, let me show you. This is. Um, this is the literally the party piece of the new Puma. The practicality, we lift up the base of the floor and we uncover a separate storage space. Not only that, we have clever designs on the left hand side and right hand side of the entry whereby that, that tray now sits so you can unload. We then got an extra 68 litres of storage capacity in what Ford called the mega box. And it literally is a mega box. As you can see, we've got Two bags of kit, two bags of kit boards, 68 litres of extra storage. Now, just to put into perspective how much storage space that is, if you look over to the left, you'll see two 205 gallon drums plus two 25 litre drums. That is 460 litres of capacity. That 456 litres is capacity of this Ford Puma boot. That's a lot of, that's a lot of, um, the space. So as we come round um, to the rear of the vehicle again, you'll see here that we've got two levels to our storage. So we have the top level. If I just pull and slide, that then lowers down and we've got a second level. So again, if you wanted, you can fill the mega box with goodies, but you can also put flat laden objects underneath with extra capacity. So that shows you the flexibility, but it's the weekend, you might want to go to B&Q, you might want to go to, to one of the retailers, you need more space. If you fold the seats down, you've now got 
over 1,200 litres, 1,216 litres of practical stowage space. And it is practical, as I mentioned. No parcel shelf, so there's no intrusion. It's a metre across, we mentioned that before. But when you're loading, you're looking for practical stowage space, and that gives you it in abundance. So hopefully that shows you the full capacity of the boot. There are some other features that the mega box enable you to benefit from. So, sorry, sorry Tom, just to jump in, just to, uh, uh, I've got an omission to make here. I'm not a gambling man, but this afternoon, uh, Tom had all the cases out here, and he said to me, Paul, all these will fit in the boot of that pyramid. Uh, I have to say, I had a, a, a little wager with him. I didn't think they'd fit in. And as you've now seen, they did fit in. So it's, it's cost me a couple of quid today. Uh, however, the great news is they did all fit in. So wonderfully good. Math's not been my forte, but I've actually calculated we have eight pieces of luggage plus another four. We've got 12 pieces of kit into the boot of this car without sacrificing any passenger space. So it is truly incredible. Now, you know, practicality wise, there, there'll be occasions where you need, where you need, pardon me, you need a little bit of something different. So for example, if you're golfing at the weekend, you might need to put the golf clubs in. So, you put them in the next box, you sit them up upright, and as you can see, you can get a set of golf clubs. But look, you can also get two sets of golf clubs. Those golf clubs are in there. Obviously, they're standing upright. You've still got room for extra luggage, which obviously plenty around the back of the club, plenty around the side. In this occasion, you would remove the floating um, tonic cover, but as I say, it gives you extra capacity. Many a times I've had to take friends to play golf and we've laid golf clubs across the back seats. This is not the case with the Puma. Now, I'm running out of ideas of what I can show you, but we have a furry friend. We have a furry friend, so, Winston, are you available? Of course he is. Now Winston's, you know, set the scene. Winston's just come back from a filthy, dirty dog walk. He's got into every bush, he's rolled in pops, food and all sorts. He is ready to be taken home. Where do we put him? What do we do with him? Winston, come over here. Winston, come over here. In the bottom of the Puma, as we look into the bottom of the mega box, there is a removable, a removable, cover under there we have a plug this plug twists pops out we now have a drain Winston it's time for a bath <laughs> now for today's exercise we're not going to wash Winston because we're in the showroom this is a brand new car but as you can see Winston doesn't wants to be in there <laughs> doesn't want to have a bath never does but picture the scene warm soapy water Winston he's a happy dog he's cleaned he gets home doesn't they'll smell the house out. We then rinse out the mega box. We are ready to go again on our next adventure. So, as you see, the, the practicalities, the possibilities, the multiple uses of this stowage compartment really give you, well, just multiple lifestyle options. So whether you're a dog walker, a golfer, a family man, this car has it all. As I say, I've done the boring bit, but to be able to buy a car that gives you this practicality with this styling, with this technology, with this economy, this is a superb vehicle. So, thank you guys. I'm going to hand you back over to Paul and John. They're going to tell you a bit more about some of the offers we have, but I hope that's going to help. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Ian. You've just been answering some questions. And Winston. Thank you, Winston. Please. And <laughs> thank you, Melissa, who's been filming tonight. And thank you, Brian, from IT to be here in case there was any issues. And we hope there hasn't been anything <laughs> back home. Um, we mentioned earlier on about the cars. We mentioned about coming to test drive one. If you come and test drive one in the month of Feb, which is Saturday onwards, and it's an extra £500, £500 test drive allowance available against any new Puma that is sold in this quarter. Um, so basically by the end of March, um, come and test drive buy one and there's an additional £500 off. So we're quite excited about that. We're actually excited. We're really excited about this product. Hopefully that's come through tonight. Um, I'm really proud of my team tonight. I thought it was a great, um, great effort. It's never easy talking in front of a camera, um, but that's uh, an amazing job. So fantastic, Paul. Okay, yeah, thanks for that, John. Uh, and uh, once again, thank you to the team. But very importantly, thank you to those of you who are watching now. Um, whether you're watching it live 
or whether you're watching it on Catch Up on YouTube or whatever at some point in the future. Thank you very much. Well, what I would like to do is just reiterate what John said. There are some special offers, and as we said earlier, Puma needs to be driven. So please come along and have a drive. Just in case you don't know where we are, we're AWD Hammond at Norwich Road in Halesworth. Our phone number is 01986 834 800, and we'd be very pleased to look after you. So come and have a test drive whenever you'd like. We're expecting it to get fairly well booked up, so please just let us know you're coming and we'll sort it out for you. However, if you turn up on the day, we'll still try and accommodate you if we can. So thank you very much indeed and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Thank you.